congratulations, gentlemen. Zombieland Double Tap. And you know what? We're here at, what, Monster Jam yeah. I'm promo promoting. So I guess the obligatory question, where did the monster truck come from idea for this? Well, right away, we just thought, what better way to kill zombies than six-foot tires and a 1,000-horsepower engine, or maybe 2,000-horsepower engine. I'm not even sure. It's, it's very, very powerful. It's loud. Uh, it can flip through the air. Like, again, you, you can't really beat that in terms of just sheer zombie, uh, you know, destruction. And wish fulfillment is a big part of Zombieland, the idea that you can live anywhere and drive anything, and what more fun uh, vehicle to drive than a monster truck, so. Were there any uh, different type of weapons that um, that you guys came up with, or ways to kill zombies that you wish that was? We had a big sequence with construction vehicles that we liked a lot, with things like wrecking balls and bulldozers and, and forklifts and things like that. There um, was the Union 76 ball at yeah, one point. Yeah, we had a Union 76 ball rolling down a, a parking garage ramp and squishing a zombie. Um, so yeah, we're, we're always keeping our minds open for that. You're just sort of driving down the street and then you just imagine something landing on a zombie and think, ah, I'm going to file that away. What, what, what do you guys write, write all this down? Do you have like a journal or something like that? Some no, I don't know. I, I, don't. I sometimes put things into files. Yeah, I mean, it's just like I'll just drop them into a note on my iPhone or just put them into a file. So, you know, just like maybe for some movie or if, or if it's a specific movie sometimes. Yeah. And then obviously the, the biggest hilarious scene is the doppelgangers. I would never think of that to put that into a zombie movie. Where did you where did that come about? Well, it was originally, uh, we had the idea, was uh, we had an alpha Tallahassee, kind of a bigger, stronger, badder, you know, Tallahassee character that they met along the journey. And then somewhere along the way, it evolved into, well, let's have the, the two characters, Columbus and Tallahassee, run into their doppelgangers and, uh, and create kind of this moment that, that essentially Bill Murray functions as in the first movie, a brief moment away from the plot. That, uh, that the audience has some fun with and then death and then they move on to their goal. And, and, uh, and that was just kind of a little fun sequence we wanted to put in there to give the audience a, you know, like a jolt of laughter. So Now I'm gonna bring up a sore subject, so don't hate me on yeah. it. You guys had a Zombieland TV show, but I'm sure you had a ton of ideas. It's okay, okay. I'm happy to talk about it. Well, you had, you, I bet you you had a bunch of ton of ideas for that TV show, how much of some of those unused ideas were used into the film? Um, I think there's a little tiny bit of cross-pollination, but not as much as you'd think. We didn't want to sort of borrow from something that had already been shot. That pilot actually aired on Amazon for a couple months. So we, people had seen it, and so we just felt, uh, we, don't want to, we don't want to borrow too heavily, one borrowing from the other. That said, it all kind of comes from the same hopper of ideas and fun. Like, we, we applied the same tone, the same jokes, all that stuff to that t television show. If we do some other version of Zombieland, whether it be another movie or a Broadway musical or whatever, you know, we'll, we'll continue to, to uh, you know, come, come from the same wellspring of ideas. But, uh, but no, we had a blast making that. It was a bummer that it didn't go beyond pilot, but you do what you can. A Broadway musical. Yeah, how about that? So, so we first heard. I'm the planting the seed. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Or a coffee table book, one or the other. Yeah, coffee table book. Good, good. One of the things that um, you probably answered it before, but you know, I, I once met a bartender where his drink menu was based on his drinks were based on places where he had dates, and so on. I want to know where you guys came up with the name of the cities for the characters. Uh, it, it originally, well, we have some connections to us, like, you know, we're both from Arizona, we had a character named Flagstaff, uh, I'm from Columbus, Columbus Ohio. Columbus was originally named Flagstaff yeah. in the original movie, we had to shift it because of geography, he became Columbus, but Columbus is actually linked Columbus to Columbus is linked to my childhood, so we have some sentimental things, some of them were geographical based on where the story needed to go, we had people leaving their hometowns and meeting on the road, and so they had to come from different areas of the country. And, and it all comes back to the metaphor of you use a city name because you don't want someone to get too close to you so that you care too much when they die. And then once you know them well enough, maybe you could tell them your real name. That was the metaphor. And we did look at a list of, of city names and go, oh, that's a cool name. Yeah, cool. Sounds cool. Yeah, you know. Tallahassee sounded really cool yeah, to us. Yeah, so. fit his character in, in a way. So. Excellent. Hey, thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you, really Gabe. Appreciate thank it. you, Gabe. Thank, thank you. Really appreciate it.